Okay, hi, I'm Xander Shapiro. I'm the co-founder and chief commercial officer of Acorn Technology. We are an edible food, com food coating company, and we like to say we make good food better. And I'll tell you more about that. Oops. Uh, of course I went too far. There we go. So our mission is about fighting food waste. That's a really big topic. And I wanna tell you more about how we do it. We have a smart multifunctional edible coatings platform. And so we have coatings that use upcycled corn products. These are sustainable and abundant and they already exist. They can double or triple the shelf life of fresh produce, both whole and cut produce. And that helps us deliver long lasting nutritious produce Frankly, we're all eating more in our homes. This allows you to have fresh produce for longer at home. I think everyone knows that uh, food waste is a global problem. It's a trillion dollars a year. It's a major contributor to greenhouse gases. And in the US, the average household spends $2,000 a year on wasted food. And so people want this fresh produce. They want it to last longer, but they want it to taste good and have the same nutrition. And a lot of the current solutions um, fall short in many respects. And I'll talk about that more on the next slide. What's different about us is that we have an easy to use water-based solution. We don't use alcohol or ammonia or other corrosives that most other waxes require. And we are a plug and play system on existing equipment. What's the breakthrough for us that's proprietary and patented is that we found a way of making corn zane, a protein, water soluble. And if you think about water and fresh produce kind of goes together, they're gonna wash it and then they can use our coating to apply. And then we can add extra functions to those coatings like antifungal, antimicrobial. And I'll tell you more about that. So the acorn solution, and I'm showing you cut vegetables because we can do cut fruit and vegetables. This is a big breakthrough for those in the industry. I think you can imagine how short the shelf life is. But our, our solution is great because the base product offers two to three times longer shelf life and it still maintains flavor and texture. Other solutions will maybe just do the moisture control and that keeps the fruit looking pretty good. Maybe a little bit of mold, but pretty good. But the inside might not taste good and it might become mealy. What ours does is we control both moisture and oxygen. And the combination of those two is very effective for increasing the shelf life by, while maintaining the flavor. And if you look down to the third bullet, you can see that we can add extra things, bruising resistance, natural antimicrobials and antifungals. All of these add extra value. If you think about cherries, there's a certain antifungal you wanna put on cherries, it's a high value crop. We can make the cherries last even longer with this natural coating. And the final thing we do that's really differentiated is that we can add flavor, nutrition, or color. And if you think about baby carrots, I'm sure all of you have eaten baby carrots, kind of gets boring after a while. What if you could have an all natural ranch coating, an all natural basil coating? So you could snack on these without any dips, without any sauces. And if anyone has kids and you think about things that spill in the car when there's ranch dressing in the carrots, you're not gonna have that problem and you're gonna have the great taste that is necessary. These are just pictures side by side, the classic pictures. We have, I mentioned, we don't just do apples and oranges like most waxes. We can do tree fruit, nectarines, avocados, bananas, and cucumbers. On the left-hand side is our base coating, which controls moisture and as an oxygen control. Left-hand side is ours, right-hand side is untreated. We literally go and buy uncoated produce and separate it out randomly and then choose one and the other and show you it's that. On the bottom left, you see nectarines after 10 days. How many of you have experienced that molding, the rotting that can happen to fresh peaches and fresh nectarines? They're hard one day and then rot the next day. Um, bananas is another example. But we're really focusing on fruits and vegetables that you love to eat that are not currently served by current solutions. And we also offer microbi antimicrobial action. So in this apple, we would have both that oxygen and moisture barrier, as well as an antimicrobial natural one. And you see the listeria control is quite high and it's about a four log reduction. So that's pretty fantastic that we know that listeria can get into the food supply and this really helps us avoid uh, any issues at home. Our team is really, um, I think it's an exciting team. We're an experienced team. We have deep uh, industry experience in produce, um, in product development, and we actually have colleagues based in Europe and based in Peru. I'm based on the East Coast. Anthony, our founder and CEO, is on the West Coast. So we really have good coverage. 
and that's thank you for your time. I guess that means my time is over. I'm gonna leave this beautiful picture to give you something to think about and I'm glad to take any questions you have. Thank you, Zander. So Thank a you. general question, and also for all other funders. In general, we'd like to understand what type of tractions uh, uh, you have um, so far, and uh, what is the use of the investment, if there is? Sure. Um, I can tell you the traction, I think, is pretty strong. We were just founded less than a year ago. And first of all, we have a lot of interest from strategics who focus on coatings and chemicals for agriculture. A lot of them are lacking a water-based solution that has all natural multifunctions like this. So we've had a lot of incoming on that. We have to be a little careful. Some of them are actually competitors. So we talk about them, we talk about them carefully. The second level is we, unlike some of the new players in this coding space, are actually actively working with academia and NGOs to get their insights to develop better products. One of our advisors is actually a noted palmologist who does a lot of research on people, uh, peaches and apples. And so they think this is really cool because it's all natural and it's a plug and play with existing systems. And finally, we're just starting to talk to producers. We intend to do pilot tests, um, two pilot tests in the US in next summer. And so this is the time we're starting to talk to producers. The one specific producer we've actually talked to the most, our colleague went to the International Banana Convention, which is a thing, okay. and he spoke to, um, he spoke to a, a banana provider who's very interested in edible coating to maintain longer shelf life over the ocean freight period. Um, as for the use of funds, um, we are looking for a million dollars. We have a couple of uh, government grants that are pending. Um, the million dollars would fund the company for 18 to 24 months. Uh, the main focus will be convening, completing the development of our base coating and start on one or two functions like the um, listeria reduction and the antimicrobial that I mentioned. We're really looking at what our initial commodity folks will be looking for. The second is we're starting to reach out, as I mentioned, to packing houses. We're not focusing on the growers as much as the packing houses. They're the ones that tend to prepare it for market and pack it literally. So they'll be looking um, for the coding solutions as they're washing and processing. Um, and we already have, because of our experience you in the industry. So other people can, you, you already almost done with the time. So you want to give other jobs a chance to ask you questions. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, sorry. The last thing is we are going to be working on some of those snacking options to show proof of concept um, because we think that's really cool and differentiated. Zander, I have a question about distribution. Uh, what is the ideal go to market for you on an international scale? Well, we are starting with a US-based manufacturer that has expertise in this area. And initially with samples, we'll forward deploy them wherever they're needed. Um, we intend to produce uh, on, at least on a regional basis. And we have a large forecast in Europe at first and also in South America because that's the source of a lot of fresh produce for both continents. So we intend eventually to produce locally. Um, the process basically creates a concentrate and then it's put into water. So, you know, it's not, overwhelming to produce this as long as there's the corn zane ingredient. Thank you. Andrew, I've been you... reading a lot recently about um, your competitor appeal sciences. Yes. What are you doing that's different from what they're doing um, and why will you win in spite of the fact that they've raised a significant amount of VC money? Right, we love that they've introduced this idea, honestly, and you know, it's quite, it's very impressive. I think what's different about us is that first we're looking at doing better than the traditional coatings, not having corrosive um, solvents for the um, application um, and that we're working on a broader range of whole and cut produce. Um, I think it's really cool what Appeal is doing because it's like a double whammy. They're taking waste, turning it into a coating and then preventing waste. Um, on the other hand, I think that's a little bit complicated. In our case, we actually have the base product and we literally can start manufacturing tomorrow. It's an abundant product, it's US-based, it's upcycled and it's a great story. In addition to that, we have the multiple functionalities, which I don't think they have. Um, and then finally, my understanding is, yes, David, my understanding is that they will use ethanol as a solvent, which requires separate equipment. Whereas we're really plug and play. Literally, if there's a waxer at a, at a producing location, we just put ours instead of the wax, it's that simple. And since we're water, it's less caustic and corrosive. Um, so we think it's a great self-extension solution plus antimicrobial um, and antifungal. Love, love the problem you're solving. Thank you for your time. Thank you. We're trying to make it a solution that also has economic value, otherwise no one will do it. 
And so we see, you know, having been in this business, we can show the economic value all the way through from the beginning, all the way to the consumer. That's my 10 minutes. Thank I'm you, Rhonda. Thank you, David. Thank you, everybody, for your attention.